We mentioned in the previous, if we saw that because it says in the Apostle, from the word lohem, we learn it has to belong to you. In the same way as uh, with Lula Vanessa, it has to belong to you. So we saw in the previous, if, if it's stolen, besides the, um, the fact that he's stolen, which is obviously incorrect, he's also not using it because it doesn't belong to him. Right? So, um, if it's borrowed, it's also not his. Um, <coughs> the chutan aren't his. Um, but there's two types of borrowing. There's borrowing uh, an object and borrowing money. There's a big difference. When you borrow an object, you give back the same object. When you borrow money, it doesn't, you're not expected to give back the same coins. The idea is that you use the money and give back different coins. So the coins. Um, belong more to you than the chayfas. You're not returning the same coins. The coins belong to you, and, the, and you have a choyv, you have a, um, a debt to return um, the equivalent. <coughs> so, it's the same, so, strings, says the shulchanach, are like coins. Someone lends someone else strings, he doesn't expect, um, it sits the strings, he doesn't expect to get the same strings back. And he expects to get back other strings in place, he expects the person is going to use it and return different strings. If you return the same strings, they're not going to be in the same condition afterwards. If someone let, mm. But he's not borrowing the whole garment? He's only no, no, we're talking about someone who's borrowing just the strings. He's borrowing strings to put on his talis. Yeah, so it's expected that if he, goes, if he asks his friend for strings, is the understanding is that the, 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 he's going to attach the strings right. to his garment, and he's going to return other strings in place of them. Right. He's not going to return the string, the same ones. And therefore, the strings belong to him. He just has a debt to return strings in place of them. So this and therefore, the strings belong to him, and therefore, um, he can view it to the mitzvah sits with him. The string belongs to him. So this is quite different than borrowing the garment itself. Right. right. Okay. Wrong okay. the strings, right? So the strings belong to him, and therefore, he can use them on his talis. <coughs> okay. And um, let's move on to the next if, if ches. Um, <coughs> if uh, an animal was um, served as an idol, then the, the, its, um, um, its wool cannot be used for tzitzis. If one bowed down to the, the flax plant, and, then if, and, and tzitzis were made from the, um, from, the, from the plant, from the fibers of the plant, it is kosher for tzitzis because it has it's had complete change. Um, um, it's completely changed. Nishtan has completely changed it from, uh, in, in its form, and therefore we look at it as a new object. Look at it as if it's a new object, um, and therefore it can be used for tzitzis. It's not the same object that was bowed down to. Right? There's obviously a whole process involved in transforming the plant into. Hmm? In the jump, if the animal uses the tech as a tech as an idol, you can use it for tzitzis. Right. But it's. No, afterwards. If it, 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 it was bowed down to, yeah. then you afterwards you chop off the wool yes. and want to use it to make tzitzis. Yeah, you can. So that wool is not considered that it's changed because you just chopped off the animal. It's the same wool, it's just right. been chopped. So, so, use so one should not use it. Where, whereas um, linen, um, there's a whole process involved in turning the flax, the, the, the flax that grows into linen, and I'm therefore, and therefore, we look at it as a new, as a new thing. Yes, it's not the same thing as bad. Let's move on. Sif test. Next sif in the shofar. Okay, this is now very important. Yase nekev ba'ure chatalis loy lemal on megimelets boys. We're now talking about the placement of the hole, that the the hole in the garment that the tzitzis go through, right? Um, has a it mustn't be more than three finger breadths. From the edge of the talus, right? The maximum is three finger breadths from the end. I know good on it. Mepnesha ain't a nikro knaf. Says in the pasuk that we put the tzitzis on the knaf of the beggar, right? Al kanfe vigdehem. Al tzitzis hakonof. Has to be on the corner. So how do we have to find? It mustn't be too near the middle of the garment. If it's near the middle of the garment, it's not called the corner. How close? How near the edge of the garment is, is called the corner? It's defined as three finger breadths. 
Okay, where it's a different shit in the poskim, the best is um, not to put it more than six centimeters. It's a, if it's a little bit more than six, the are to rely on. Um, but the, definitely the standard, if you if you uh, um, buy a garment, you'll find that the, it's, it's going to be less than six centimeters. Right, we're actually trying to make sure it's less than six. More than that, is more if it's more than six centimeters of the edge of the garment, it's not called the corner. It's not called al kanfe big dem. It's not the corner of the garment. mato. The minimum, um, the minimum uh, um, distance of the ho- this hole from the edge of the garment is kesha um, goda, which is the top joint of the thumb, right? from the from the joint, from the joint until the edge of the the end of the um, finger, right? when the nail is is level with the edge of the finger. Not have this. a long nail, doesn't? Not, this. So, not less than that. Yeah, that's the minimum length. Again, the different shittah from the poskim, um, and the, the shittah that everyone agrees to seems to be between four to six centimeters. Yeah, it's it between seems four that to there's six very little play in there. Sorry? It, there's one um, finger breadth difference, it seems to me. Yeah. Be, between the minimum and the maximum. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's what it turns out. Four, four to six is, is the best uh, um, distance. What is, um, the, what is the reason for the minimum? Excellent question. What's the reason for the minimum? So let's carry on reading. It says, Al kanfei bignayim. Right? Al says have to be on the corner. Right? It's beneath the corner. It has to be on, on, on the corner of the beggar. It sounds like on the higher part of the corner. Right? It says twice, Al kanfei bignayim. And Al says it has to be on the corner. It's on the, on the high, higher part of the corner. Not on the lower part of the corner. One measures this um, straight and not on a diagonal, meaning perpendicular to the edge of the beggar. Right? Not, not measuring from the corner and on the diagonal, rather measuring, measuring from the edge of the beggar, um, perpendicular to the edge of the beggar. Okay. Um, Could be that if it is, it's on the very edge, you haven't got that one, they call it digital thing, the chance to it would tear easily, maybe. Useless. So it kind of prevents that from happening. Right. Well, actually, we're going to talk about tearing in a minute because the, the tearing has been a very relevant one. If you if you if you if you fixed it at the, at the correct correct distance between four to six centimeters, and then it tore. Someone actually showed me a talus like this in Kamiel. Someone showed me his talus, but it had torn. It was just being held by the last few strings onto the beggar. So but the, three, most three, of the three, less than that. Sorry. sorry. We were talking about if it, if it wasn't that. Right. Okay, so, so here, when you when you made the talus with the correct distance, then it tore. We're going to see that in the next sit. We're going to talk about that in a minute. What's what's the halach of a talus like that? Okay. Um, okay. Um, let's have a look quickly at the Mishnah Bura of Kofun Lamed Tess. <coughs> Lamed Tess. Um, in mine, it's about. The middle of the yeah, in the middle of the page, in the middle of the page, and the, the previous page, we've already gone on to the next page. On the previous page, near the middle, it's called the Lamed Tes. He asked the Nekev, "Kosa Beis Yosef." The Beis Yosef, of course, is the Shochanah. Same with Chavu, with Yosef Kaiyu. After Yesh Oymim, he asked the Beis Nekovim Kamoit Zayre. The Yatzel Atzitzu Pesoychom, the Yotzi Oysan Asoych Letzad Echod, Ein Lochos Lezeh. Right? There's, there's, there's a Machloikas. <coughs> How one attaches the tzitzit to the beggar. Right? Um, if one has one hole in the beggar, right? Um, um, is the right? We look at this talus. Now, here, here we have an example of one that's torn, so we can talk about it. What's our luck of this? <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, okay, here we have one hole in the beggar, and the tzitzit go through from one side to the other. Okay? Um, there's another minhag, which is what the Beis is talking about, um, which is actually the minhag of the Hasidim, which is they have two holes, like a tzeri, like the like a tzeri, two holes next to each other, and the scissors go in one, and then come out the other one. Right, so they're hanging on the beggar like this. So right? they don't go around the corner. They don't go. Around, it doesn't. It doesn't come around like this. It's not right. connected to the corner like this, because it's, it's, there's two holes. It goes in and comes out. So it's attached to the corner, but not. Not this part, right? It doesn't come over here. Is it clear how? Right? That's, so this is what the basic is talking about. 
Um, so the the Beis Yosef doesn't like this. He says, "Ein lochus leze, b'avol achman asim Beis Yosef leze eidem in amachmir and eidem in amatmiim." The Mechzikiyah. Well, he doesn't like the idea of, of putting tzitzis on the beggar like this. Um, but if we carry on reading, we'll see. The Bach calls up the Betalis Cotton Yasser Stein the Kovim. The Vezel Lo Mechzikiyah. Well, Kim Shein Enoel Akoyim. The Bach says on on, on the Betalis Cotton one should do it. Chen Kosov Bekavonas Shariza No Akein. Now Riza would do this. V'chein after the after the parenthesis, v'chein the special time in the Medina's Poilin, and then this is the minag in the Medina's Poilin. Right, the Chassidim do this. Om non b'Medina's Hagor, but Ashkenaz ain't no gin kevin hour and hour pashte. It's taller in the minag of the place, as we mentioned. The um, the Chassidim um, have these two holes, and the the Ashkenazim don't. I don't know what Sfardim do. The, 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 one just has to be careful when one buys a beggar to make sure one buys the right the right one, which fits according to one's minag. Because they sell both in the shop. Whether you're buying the pre-made ones or whether you're going to make it yourself, um, they have both in the shops. So make sure you buy the, buy, buy the one that fits in with your minhag. Like if you're chassidish, you buy the one with um, two holes. If you're not chassidish, you buy the one with one hole. Right? They're both okay. It depends according to the minhag. Um, okay. He seems very hostile to it, actually. Sorry? He's, he seems very hostile to it. The Beis Yosef. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The translation is pretentious. It's a very strong word. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, the Rizal, the Rizal did it, and then the Menach is to do it, and the, and the Chassidim do it. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on now to Sif um, Yud. Sif Yud. We're going to discuss what, what's the Halach over here. We just saw that the minimum share, right, the minimum amount we said was to the... The minimum amount is not more than six cent and six centimeters. This is clearly not more than six, but also it mustn't be less than um, kesher agudo. This amount here, which we said is uh, according to to be according to everyone is four centimeters. That's just it's a bit less. We can see clearly here that it's less than that amount, right? The the, the hole is clearly less than that. It comes up to the end of my nail, no near the end, no near the joint. Right? So obviously it's kosher. It was made kosher. When it was kosher, it was, it, when it was made, it was kosher. You can see the, where the hole originally was. But it's now less than that. Is this still kosher or not? So let's read Sif Yud. I mean, on the Sif Yud, it's uh, page 43, the second line from the top. If it was um, more than um, six centimeters, um, the, the, this minimum share, the length of the, the last bone on the, of the thumb, and um, when it was made. The knot can be chut of and then the strings snap, meaning the strings of the beggar, not the strings of the sitzes. The strings of the um, strings snap. That's the loinish arboy kishir kishir kosher. If it's just snapped and now there's less than the minimum share, it's still kosher. Why? Kibun shahoyah boy kishir b'shosha hitel boy sitzes there. As long as it had the correct. Um, the correct uh, shear when, when the tzitzis were put on the beged, um, it is still kosher. Hagor says, the, the, the minag is to make a hem around the hole. Right? This is the, what one should do. Well, clearly it wasn't done on this talis. No, the truth is it was done. One can see there's a hem, but it's been uh, used so much that it's, it's, uh, it's snapped. But they, one should make a strong hem around the hole to make sure that this doesn't happen. Right. Um, also, one should make a hem on the edge of the beckett so that it doesn't and um, this doesn't snap in this direction. Right? We can minimize the hole either 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 if this way it snaps or this way. It's more likely for the hole to to, to get larger because you have the pulling on them. Um, but one should make a, it should, should be a hem here and a hem around here to try and preserve this minimum shape. In addition, this has a piece, an additional piece of fabric as support for it. This has an additional piece of support, yeah, which didn't help. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't help. <laughs> yes, sir? No, it didn't help. Um, okay, so the mission book explains... Um, <coughs> um, the, reason, the reason for this minhag, if one looks at... Um, If one knows the Mishnah Bosef Kodun Nun Aleph, it's Sif Kodun Nun Aleph. He writes 
And after the Eved Kosher, we come from Tov Lasset, came to the Kadesh Lo Yovoy Hagoyim Loim Al Shiposto. It's called Amal Avdin Agmini. So the reason why one, we, 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 the, the Ramos suggests doing, um, doing a hem, um, 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 strengthening the hole, even though it's kosher if this happens, right? so why, why does one need to strengthen it? If it's kosher like this, why should one do the hem? It's because not everyone is, is, uh, knows the halacha, and people will look at systems like this and think, oh, it hasn't got the minimum shear, it's possible. People, not everyone uh, knows this halacha that if it um, snaps, it's still kosher. And therefore, one should do the hem to keep it in the right place so that it's clear that it's a kosher ge- become. Right? Anyone who's been to the shir knows that this is kosher. Someone who doesn't might look at this and think, oh, it's a postal tzitzis. And therefore, the best is to strengthen the hole to make sure it keeps to this shir four to six centimeters. Okay. Um, it seems like the loop on that is very small. Which, uh, yeah. What do you mean, the loop? The loop, the, this the first knot system. here yes, actually correct. doesn't afford it correct. to be the correct. correct. That okay. may have helped cause so, so this is the halakha that we're going to get to, right? Which is that here it is, it's particularly small. But yeah. what we daf could do it, and um, um, doesn't have to, but it's it's a good idea to daf could do it slight, um, slightly smaller than the um, the distance between the hole and the edge of the baguette, so that it folds the baguette slightly. Why is this, right? We're going to learn. I, I, I don't remember sure. exactly where it's positioned in this halacha, but we'll get to it. I hope we haven't skipped it out, but I'm going to skip to Lavish, but I hope we haven't skipped it out, we'll get to it. And that the tzitzis, because it says al uh, kamfei so right? al- we want the tzitzis to fall onto the corner. Uh-huh. So therefore, if the tzitzis are being worn, how are the tzitzis worn? They're worn in, and the tassels are on the side, right? Right. So that should look the wrong way then, it should be like this, right? Tassels are on the side, we want the tzitzis to fall down onto the corner, right? Uh, so therefore we do it just slightly less, so that it's held in this position. It's called ala knaf, so it falls but onto the knaf. If it was larger, it would just fall downwards like this. So we do it slightly and smaller. And why is that not falling on the garment? Because it's too tight to... We want it... No, no, if We it want was... this to fall, to fall onto the corner, so it falls down onto the corner, rather than in this direction. It's just, just uh, preferably. I, I don't remember. I, I don't remember the positioning of this halacha. I hope we'll, we'll see it. Okay. I hope we'll see. It. Now, just because just you mentioned why is it done smaller, that's the reason why it's done smaller. Mm. Right. Okay. Particularly and the Mishnah mentioned somewhere. I, I think we missed this as well. Um, he mentions. Yeah, um, cross on the one. If you go back to the previous page, um, cross on it's on the third, and, and mine is on the third, um, third wide line. The third wide line, three lines from the end of the line. Right, it says cross of Hamogravon, cross of Hamogravon, cross of Hamogravon, and also on the of the Mala Megimo. If he did, if he distanced the hole more than three finger breaths from the edge, even if he um, he folded, he 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 did he did this loop tight and it folded over the baguette. So now the distance is less than three finger breaths. There's more than three finger breaths worth of garment. However, the actual distance is less because it's folded over. It's still it's possible. It, it is possible. It's possible because what we measure is the amount of garment. And seeing as there's more than three finger finger breadths of garment, it's possible. It doesn't help that the loop um, um, makes it less than three finger breadths. It has to, it has to be three, not more than three finger breadths of actual garment. And, who, and the same the other way around. If he made the hole more than the minimum share, more than that four centimeters. Right? And because of the loop, it falls over the beggar and makes it less than now the actual distance is less than four centimeters. Then it's kosher. What we care about only is the amount of garment there is between the edge of the beggar, the edge of the garment, and the hole. Folding it over doesn't make a difference. If the hole is too far away and this loop 
um, scrunches out the vagus is less than six centimeters, it's still possible because one needs a um, maximum of six an extra garment. And the same the other way around, if the hole is at the correct distance, more than four, and then because of the loop it became less than four, it's still kosher. So you're actually making the hole and measuring it prior to putting on the tzitzit. Exactly, exactly. And, and whatever happens after you put on the tzitzit is not an issue. Correct. Okay. Okay. And let's continue. Yeah, let's just finish this. If we have a couple of minutes, just finish the feud. Um, where did we get to? Yeah, we, we're in the Shulchan Aruch. It says Shulchanach and Moshulchanach. We finished the Gemara. We're up to we're up to now the continuation of the Shulchan Aruch, which is five lines from the bottom of the, of the Shulchanach at the top. Yesh Oimrim Shebesoich Roichat Habeged Ein Loishir. Yesh Oimrim Shedin Roichat Habeged Kedin Ha'Oirech V'Neim Devarim. There's Machlokes if this shear we gave a four to six centimeters is only on the length of the garment or also the width. Mm-hmm. And the first opinion holds it's only the length of the garment, the width, um, it, it has no minimum shear. And the second opinion holds it's also the width, and that's how, that's how the Shulchan Ruch of Nirum Devreim, that this shear of four to six centimeters is both, is, is even in the width of the garment, both the, 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 the length and the width. 